Hey everybody, it's Callflower Man here. I am bringing you another gameplay of Battleborn. In this game, we're going to be doing something quite a bit different here. Uh, it's not actually a gameplay of... It's not an actual Xbox Live gameplay at all. What it is, is it's me playing a private match, and I'm going to show you how to do a bunch of jumps. So I'm using Deande because at level 1, she's got... Um, her quick melee gives her an extra jump, so as you saw, or if you just watch, you'll see all the jumps I'm going to get over. Um, the one right here that I'm using to get over the top of this uh, orange sort of glass barrier there, that one's not as useful. If you're going to use the jump over here, I would use the one that just gets you on top of the stairs. And a couple other jumps, like this jump right here, isn't that useful. And then uh, I think you're also going to see me fail a bunch of jumps here every once in a while, but that's just the way that happens. That's the way that goes. <laughs> um, uh, always remember, though, too, that other people can't make these jumps, so even if you don't get all the way up there or you kind of fail them a little bit uh, just getting out of their range uh, that's all you really need um, so like these uh, rocks that I'm jumping on top of right here it really doesn't give you any sort of tactical advantage other than the enemy cannot hit you while you're on top of them um, just because they can't get there so that's why they're really useful uh, so like I said you see me miss a bunch here at the start uh, I think I start doing a lot better here afterwards uh, I've been playing a bunch of overwatch trying to get myself uh, up to diamond uh, just because I wanted to throw some videos in there um, I enjoy overwatch I mean there's no you can't compare overwatch and battleborn battleborn is like overwatch 8.0 um, Overwatch is like Battleborn for idiots, and don't get me wrong, there's a lot of fun in that, and it's great marketing strategy by uh, Overwatch, because obviously if you make a game that's as complicated as Battleborn, most people can't play it, and that's why you see a lot of hate for the game, is because a lot of people just suck. Um, and if you suck and you play Battleborn, it's very apparent, whereas in a game like Overwatch, if you suck, it doesn't show team stats, so you don't even know. But... Anyways, getting back to these jumps, if we this jump right here is one of my favorite jumps. You don't necessarily have to be on top of that uh, barricade that I was at before. You'll see me make the jump from the other side. You can jump straight from the ground and ju jump over the top of this. The reason I like it is you can run back to where your shock turret is there, and you're completely safe from both sentries. So if you want to, you can get way behind enemy lines and take out their minions. Um, and then a bunch of these jumps here on the sentry, they're not as useful. They're usually more useful when you're in the enemy sentry area. That way you can jump over these things to kind of make the sentry miss you. Um, and then this next one that I'm going to do, uh, it's very useful if you are running away from an enemy. Most people don't think you're going to try and jump over the top of that barricade. But with uh, Deande, you can make it. You can make it over the top with somebody like a uh, Benedict to Thorn. You can if you increase the height of her jump and propel her backwards with her melee attack. A Melka can make it over the top top, but there's just uh, a lot of different characters that can, and a lot of people don't pay attention to the different jumps that you can make, uh, and that's a terrible idea, just because you really, I mean, obviously you don't want to take damage when you're playing, uh, and the less damage that you take, um, the less you die, obviously, but uh, like this jump right here, most people will never try and make that jump, but if you make that jump, nobody's ever going to hit you, uh, so I really like it. And then this jump right here from barricade to barricade, it's not that useful, and I miss it right there, but I don't go back and try and uh, find it. And then finally, just to finish off these jumps here, it's just this jump right through that little opening, people can't really get you there, and then this jump over to double thralls. Alright, for this uh, second video here, the last one we were on overgrowth, this one we are on monuments. Um, and so I'm going to show you some of the jumps here. One thing to notice is right off the bat, I jump right over that barricade that gives you a little extra bonus, or you get out there a little bit quicker, so you're a little bit ahead of the enemy team here. Uh, I'm going to fail this jump a couple times too. Uh, one thing to remember when you're making this jump, it's always best to go from the brown stones over here, just because then you know you're high enough. Um, and another thing too, when you're in the heat of battle, uh, some of these jumps get harder to do, and uh, so... Obviously, like I said, it's been a while since I played Battleborn, so I, I was just a little bit off. But this jump's a great place to be, and as you can see, you can attack the sentry, you can hide behind this side, you can hide behind the other side. Uh, I like to do this a lot of times, uh, especially if I'm somebody like an Isaac. You can use Isaac's Plasma Dash and get up there, just because then the enemy team has to teleport back to their base and go through their spawn point to attack you. That's literally the only way they can get to you. Um, but then again, just keep watching these uh, jumps where I go to. Um, they're useful, basically, situationally. So like this one right here, if you're behind, it's another place you can attack the sentry and you can hide behind. Uh, and a lot of enemies won't really be able to see you or get to you there. Um, so that's just kind of fun to do. Um, always remember, that when you're doing jumps, they're not always... 
they're not usually used for attack purposes. A couple of these ones by the sentry are aggressive jumps. They're ones that you want to use offensively, but most of them you want to use defensively. So like if you're running away from an enemy, run them toward one of these jumps. And like as Deande, there's only a couple people who can, who can make these jumps, so they won't be able to follow you. So for example, like that jump that I made right there, let's say I have like a uh, Caldarius behind me or like a marquee they can't make that jump I guess technically Caldarius can if he uses his ultimate but it's not really worth it or like that jump right there nobody's really gonna be able to follow you so you really want to use these things defensively that's really the way you want to do it um, and the other way too I guess you'll see me make a couple jumps here near our sentry up towards that ledge uh, a lot of times you'll have a sniper who will sit on top of one of those ledges and they'll think you can't get to them unless you run around behind but uh, with a Deande you can make it up there without having to run around behind and uh, another thing to notice while I'm making these jumps right here when when you're jumping above any sort of barrier that's directly in front of you and I don't know exactly why the game works like this it, ha it must have something to do with the way it's coded like in the game mechanics but you want Deande's heal if you're using Deande you want her heal to be pointing away from the wall. If the heel is pointed at the wall, for some reason you will kick the wall and it'll stop the jump. So always make sure to that or always make sure when you use her quick melee that her heel is against or is away from the wall. And then that jump right there, this jump is super useful. You can use this as anyone and people never expect it. You don't have to jump off of the top of the rock like I did before. You can jump off right there. Um, but it's a little bit harder as you can see I missed it when I tried it that time. The easiest way is just to use the uh, stones that were off to the right so you have a little bit more of a height advantage when you start that jump. Alright, so for this third and final video I am playing on Echelon uh, and I'm only going to include the three incursion maps just because they're the most competitive. There's a lot of jumps on the other maps but uh, since they're not as competitive I don't think it's as useful to go over them. Uh, you can figure them out for yourself. Uh, the best character to sort of figure out jumps with is Deande because she's got that super high jump at level one. You don't have to unlock it with any sort of upgrade or anything like that. But on Echelon you'll notice most of the jumps are uh, near the forward sentry um, and so I like to use a lot of these jumps just to uh, stay away from the enemy team, get back behind enemy lines and make them try and follow me. One thing you'll notice is if you use a couple of these jumps on people who are trying to follow you it really pisses them off and then they follow you even harder which is a terrible choice by them because if you can just lead them on a random goose hunt or a random goose chase this entire time or the entire time then they're not doing anything for their team so it's really funny especially when you have a full team behind you if you do one of those jumps because then they just keep following you and if you can keep wasting their time um, it's not only just funny but it's great as a tactical maneuver obviously if you get caught it's terrible so you don't want to get yourself in a position where they can easily um, just surround you and cut you off so you gotta be kinda smart with it and that's kinda why I like doing a lot of these with Deande because she's got her cloak so it makes it harder for people to end up killing you but like I said if you're doing these jumps just make sure to use them defensively and then try and waste enemies time and that's really how you want to use it and if you can learn to master some of these and uh, use them tactically in a situation you'll really push your gameplay over the top
Incursion. Fight your way through waves of minions and defeat the enemy sentries. Escort minions to enemy sentries to strip away their shields and leave them vulnerable to attack. Destroy the enemy's final sentry to achieve victory. The match begins in 3, 2, 1. 